is an overview of all of the features that are absolutely essential for a good projector pattern. Now, of course, if you don't want to figure out all the exact sizes, fonts, line weights, and line colors, and want access to um, Illustrator templates so you can just drag and drop all of your patterns and your logos and be done, you can, of course, sign up for my paid course, but this tutorial is free. So if you're a pattern designer and you uh, want raving reviews, please follow these. This is very important for having uh, patterns that are consistent and that are easily usable by the end user, which is the sewer. So first off, notice that all of my things are in layers. You want all the sizes, unless you're only one size, to be in layers so that the user can choose which layers they want. Second off, notice the thick dark lines here. Everything is very thick, much thicker than the one point or, or half a point that you use when you're drafting. This is essential so it displays out nicely and easily. Not only that, I have a large font here, which you can't tell because I've got this whole, I'll zoom in, but you can't tell because it's all pretty much the whole screen. Large font, and then notice how much border I have between where my pattern pieces in the center are and the rest of the page. I have lots and lots and lots of border. If you want to know exactly the minimum amount, you of course can take my course. That's the last time I'll mention that. <laughs> I've also got mirrored pieces to show on the fold. I have segregated out the cut numbers, so cut two versus cut one, and then I've indicated end of pattern. I also, for the European designers, have no doubt a lot of people are asking for the seam allowances to already be included. It's very hard to add on seam allowances when you're using a projector. And then lastly, some of the most important information should be included. So things like your findings, how much seam allowance you're actually using, Things of that nature, very important. These are very quick features. So here I've zoomed in so you can see how big the font is for instructions and the seam allowance for the major elements are as compared with the bodice. Mind you, this is for a children's pattern. So you can see here where I've mirrored it so that they can choose to mirror it or not mirror it. And I've also provided options. So the instructions have to be much larger. So simple font, dark colors, thick lines, and lots of space around the border is very important. Not only that, layers is also important. 